know, three days, no upload, and it's the playoffs. <laughs> what am I doing? But let's talk about it. So the past couple of days, the NBA has just been wild. Like, why the hell is did y'all? Did I just say DeAndre Anthony Edwards cross dropping the Suns like he's a part of DX in 08? <laughs> Man, but let's talk about it. So the Suns, they they wasn't gonna work in the playoffs. I keep saying that every time I bring them up, they they wasn't gonna work in the playoffs, and we already knew that they weren't gonna work in the playoffs. And then they're going against one of the best teams in the West already in the Timberwolves. Oh yeah, definitely wasn't gonna work. And then Anthony Edwards is giving them straight hell. <laughs> Cross shopping at Kevin Durant. Hey, he said it's cool. Hey, you winning games, I guess you get to do that. So, moving on to the next series, which was the Lakers and the Nuggets. LeBron James keep the season alive for the Los Angeles Lakers in an outstanding performance. This series for the Lakers has been so weird because they kept the lead longer than the Nuggets have, and they also been tied for a very long time throughout the whole series. But we all know that Darvin Ham is not the coach for the Lakers. They should have just kept Fred Rogel, but you know, every time something goes wrong, the Lakers blame somebody. Even though, you know, in 2021, they were hurt. They were hurt for most of the year. And then got to the playoffs and lost to the Suns. But, you know, all right. But that's kind of crazy how the Lakers are not keeping their season live and advance to a game five, which I think. They will win, but I don't think they're going to come back and win the series. This series is going to be over in like six because the Nuggets are just going to outcoast the Lakers. But the Lakers did do a good job of shutting down Aaron Gordon for this game, which really helped them out. And if they could keep that up, then maybe they could take it to a game seven, but they're not going to win because Jokic is just dead. He is the best in the world right now. But you feel me? Uh, back to the uh, Timberwolves and Suns. Dog. This is getting called one of the worst super teams of all time, which I don't think that's the case. The worst super team of all time is probably the Brooklyn Nets uh, with KG, Pierce, and uh, them guys. That's the worst super team of all time. But the Suns, they thought, get a bucket, which is going to, feel me, work in a playoff. That's just not going to work. Three dominant scores. We are basically all the same type of score three levels, just at a different height. That's, that's definitely not going to work. And they might not even get a game off. And then Nurkic was talking all that shit to the Warriors after they got eliminated to the play-in. Boy, I can't wait to see what Draymond says on his podcast after this Tim Woods for his other series. Boy, that's going to be crazy. All right, on to the Thunder and Pelicans. Zion not playing. Of course, we knew the Thunder was going to put Bell to ass. I know. They're up 3-0. SGA, Shet Hunger, and all them guys. P. Giddy is getting buckets for them. They, they doing their job. And yes, I said P. Giddy. TJ McConnell act, out there acting like he just don't want to play basketball anymore. I don't know what's wrong with him every time it comes to playoffs. He just never shows up. Boy, disappearing. He had a great regular season. He didn't play bad this year. And then get to the playoffs, disappear goes Casper. But I think the Pelicans are going to avoid the sweep. I don't think the Pelicans are going to get swept. I mean, come on, man. The city of New Orleans is always going through enough. Did you see who they're taking the draft? On to the next playoff series, which was... The next playoff series was the Cavs versus Magic. Oh my god. There is no way the Cavs lost both Magic games. No way. This series hasn't even been a close series for real. Like both teams are just beating each other ass. But they head back to the land for game five, which you know the Cavs should have went back to the land up 3-1. But let's hope that DG gets his shit together and maybe we can advance to the second round finally after game six. Because this shouldn't even be happening. This is a young, inexperienced Orlando Magic team. And we are just losing. And it's not like like we just can't beat them. But DJ is not showing up in the playoffs. And then we got to try to keep down the Mitchell. But that's not going to happen if DJ keep playing like that. Because Mobley, he's been having a good playoffs. Jerry Allen been having a good playoffs. Donnie, of course, has been having a good playoffs. George Nying sucks dick. He shouldn't even be getting minutes no more. That should be Sam Merrill minutes. But you know, JB Biggestaff is a dumb dumb. That just doesn't make sense to me. Final topic of today's video is the Celtics versus the Heat. The Celtics should have been sweeping the Heat. They should have swept the Heat. The fact it's only a 2-1 lead after three games is insane to me. No, no Jimmy Butler. And you can't sweep a team the Heat without Jimmy Butler. That just proved a Boston. Boston might not get it done this year, even though this is their best shot at it. I don't, I don't know. 
you can't sweep as Jimmy Butler list heat. But you know what? Let's talk about game three. Game three, they got the job done. They did what they supposed to do. They beat the heat by 20 points. But that's all for my playoff synopsis. The next video is probably going to come after all the game fives and stuff like that. Or I don't know. It's just going to randomly come. But that's all I got for the video. Hey, you made this one of me. You might well like a sub. Or no, that's yours. But I am out.